space isn't just space. There's spaces within space. There's actually areas. You know what I'm saying? And that's actually how, and it's longitude and distance and energies and frequencies and vibrations and energies that off, that, that represents each space. But by you being so small and being a representation of a species within a species, you can't, you can't, uh, your enlightenment isn't that high yet because of the vehicle you in. See, you're not the, you're a vehicle within a bigger vehicle, and this vehicle can understand the spectrum, but it's things that this vehicle still don't understand also, because by you being a species in this species, there's things you don't understand. So that's just that's just to let you know that that's affirmation that the species that you in don't have all knowledge, because you don't have all knowledge. If the species you was in had all knowledge, you would, that's one example, look, say you have, Say you a, let's just say you a person who do got all knowledge, right? And then you you wanna you wanna train a group of people to have all knowledge also. So you come up with a way for them to have all knowledge, right? It should be simple, right? Look, y'all, this is how you have all knowledge. Boom. But this that but since you don't have all not look, that's a representation of now if they go out in the world, right, and they and they say, look, I got all knowledge. They can tell you where they got all knowledge from. I got all knowledge from this dude because this dude had all knowledge, right? Now, you could be able to say that. Now, there's no person in this world that you can say got all knowledge, right? So, for an example, the being, the, uh, the person, the, let's just say that the person that they got all, that they got all knowledge from, let's just say this was a, a being, right? And, and a person, and these people who went out and told other people that this person had all knowledge, Right? They will be right because if they're going around telling people they have all knowledge and their all knowledge makes sense to other people, then everything could be tied back to the person who gave the original people all knowledge, right? But if that person don't have all knowledge, then whatever knowledge he gave to them people to make them think that they have all knowledge is still not all knowledge. So that's just like the, the temple that they was in with that preacher that claimed to have all knowledge, that's the same way you and the species. The same reason why you can feel like you don't have all knowledge is because the species you win don't have all knowledge. Makes perfect sense. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, for an example, when we want to say uh, it's going into the age of Aquarius. Now, as as this species, uh, where it came from, now and how it was born and how it sees things from the head, the head now it's actually traveling through an opposite space of existence from where it originally came from now only reason i'm tying it to zodiac and the zodiac signs and names we given it is because that's how a species within a species can analyze it you know what i'm saying so that's how we use our right and left brains to analyze it but by no means shape or form this is the zodiac tied to just this solar system and this remember the the zodiac fuck even calling it the zodiac it's just 12 separate spaces in the whole spectrum so if you have spaces within that space, then each space and smaller space within that space is going to have its own little 360. So it's going to have its own um, 3D spectrum and its own uh, uh, areas in the sky. So in the small space we in within the whole space, this is how we analyze our little 360 within the whole 360. And we tie it to astrology. But as above, so below, so below, so above. As for this being we in also. It's still as above for it, as below for it also. Just in a higher frequency realm of reality that you as mankind, being a human, can't understand yet. Um, until you become one with this being. Now, um, as far as the being traveling, it's traveling to, through a space and a frequency, energy, and and time that's opposite to its own and what it's naturally known for. You know what I'm saying? So right now, as it's going into Aquarius, what is opposition? Opposite is is what's opposite. It's what you could relate to. It's like a mirror. So right now, as let's call this species, let's call this solar system Milky Way. Let's call this solar system mankind itself. Let's just say you are a man and woman out of mankind. Let's say this species itself is called mankind. Now, mankind is looking opposite to itself now because it's in the opposite space of where it came from. Now, how high it is or how low it is on a dimensional scale is up for debate. That, that's going to decide uh, what realm of realities is witnesses. Same like you. You, you are in the same dimension as an animal, 
but y'all are experiencing two realms of realities. So you and a bird is experiencing two different realms of realities. Now, you can say you are more enlightened than a bird. You could receive more information from the sun and you have more antennas on you than a bird because you are able to train a bird, but a bird can't train you. So you are intellectually inferior to a bird. So that's how you can compare that you are intellectually um, more superior being than another being in your same dimension, in your same plane of existence. So both of y'all could be living in heaven or hell. Both of y'all could be experiencing lower densities and higher densities, but y'all still in the same realm of reality. Y'all still in the same dimension. You know what I'm saying? So, which is three dimension. So right here, you're, you're gonna be able to see an animal the same way an animal can see you. But the way you see each other is entirely different ways. And, but how to decipher which more superior is because we could train a bird, but a bird can't train us. You see what I'm saying? So it's the same way for the species we in. Let's just call the species mankind and, and how it sees things and the beings it's around and the hundreds of thousands of beings, uh, hundreds of thousands of solar systems that we gonna call mankinds that's all around what this being is seeing. We gonna, we gonna say that there's a, there's a dimension level to them also. So to know how high or low them is, that's up to debate to know what realm of realities they see. And, but we see ramifications of the, the, the mankind species we in because we're in this one. We're in like the third chakra, the third rock from the sun, which is earth. The third, the third chakra real. You know what I'm saying? So we, we're, we're like on a, on, on a high evolutionary scale than a lot of other things. Like a being on Pluto can't even find, can't even find no physical energy anywhere to be physical. So they may, they may utilize past pretense type energies to be manifested in the present in someone on earth so they can be made physical in order to play out a lot of their past attributes and, and bring that shit into the future and depending on what kind of being that is that's utilizing the energy from Pluto um, it could be your ancestor or somebody because Pluto so far away from earth it could be like a 72 year so it could be like an ancestor or something like that and if it was a negative ancestor or something like that they could come and bring hell in your life and all kind of dark deep underworld type situations in your life you see what I'm saying? Like I, I did like I've been in these places in order to explain it to y'all in a real sensible way. But a lot of words and how I look and stuff like that, it may not be received well by a lot of people on earth due to the due to the programs and the programming that they have and, and the intellectual beings that's over them. You know what I'm saying? So and and, and, and it hurts me. You know what I'm saying? But just like Let's talk about motherfucking um, reptilians. Uh, you got a lot of people out here who bring a lot of race into reptilian. Look, reptilians don't get, it's not a race. It's not a race of a, a mankind race. It's, it's a piece of mankind because they, they choose to come here, but the only representations of mankind that they have here is snake, is being a snake, right? But they're not, they're like melanated beings. They're not the strongest melanated beings, but they're beings that's, that's more on the inside. They're not external. They're internal. So they're dealing more with yin. They're not, they're not dealing with the, the with things. They're not dealing with things that you can be consciously aware of. They want to be consciously aware, but they're not. Matter of fact, I'm about to make this another video. I'm going to make, this, I'm gonna make the uh, reptilian and all that another video. But this video right here is just a simple fact of I'm trying to tell you any type of religion or any type of thing or any type of uh, culture or anything that tells you you have to go towards the past and learn. No. You, no, you have to take what's in the present to bring to the future and learn from the past what not to bring to the present. Not take what's in the present, understand the present and bring it to the present. I, I mean, not take what's in the past and, and bring it to the present in order to bring to the future. That don't make no sense. No, you look towards the past and know what not to bring. You know what I'm saying? And the prime example is that is the species that we in, this mankind species that we in, this overall being, not you as a man or woman, but the mankind overall being, um, is, is going, uh, is traveling, right? And every time it travels, it's, it's receiving the information from di from the from the different spaces it's in and it's receiving different lights and, and different information from its end. Right now it's going into the age of Aquarius. It's going into an opposite space than it was originated in. So you know what I'm saying? So right now it's, it's, it's like a mirror. It's looking at itself. And man and woman is playing out that energy by looking at themselves right now. So they're no they're no, so as mankind, the mankind species is looking in the mirror now because it's in the opposite energy. As it, as it get played out through the character trace with inside it, you're inside it, you're in the third chakra reel, 
and you're inside this species, you're inside this mankind being, it's gonna it's gonna get played out and expressed to you that now man man and woman is looking at themselves now. So now they're not looking out to find a God, they're looking at themselves now. They're looking in the mirror now to find themselves. They're looking in the mirror now to find spirituality. They're looking in the mirror now to find God. They're looking within themselves. And that's just because, the look, for an example, uh, this, this species this came out of the age of Pisces. It's on the cusp right now, so it's still in Pisces a little bit, the, and the tail end of it. So any Pluto alignments that you have is still going to have a strong, rep, a, st a strong annotation towards uh, towards. Uh, the uh the Pisces uh the, the age Pisces energy but it's on a cusp but look check this out as a as a species itself right it's, it's it's slowly but shortly coming out of the age of Pisces now what is Pisces mutable water being adaptable and changeable to other people's ways of emotions and feelings so right now that's like confusion it don't know if you want to go this way or that way so that's what the species mankind was seeing that's the realm of reality that's the space it was going through at that time within a space within a space so it so it it got played out through you as confusion you you was confused between spirituality religion we don't know which religion to go to we don't know what spirituality to go to we don't know whether we wanna, uh, we supposed to feel like this about this, or feel like that about this, or you got the hippie, you got the disco, you got music, you got, you got everything that derived out of that. You see what I'm saying? Now we're going into the age uh, of opposite, so it's looking at itself. It's, it's the mankind looking at itself now. It's the mirror. It's in the opposite sign. It's going into the opposite sign of where it originated in, which was Leo. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on here is now it's, it's, it's being in every look at itself. So all men, women, mankind as a whole is looking at themselves, right? And and, and then it, we're going, it's the age of information. So now they're trying to get information of themselves, information of the mirror that they're looking at. If you're looking in the mirror, you're looking at yourself. And if, if, if it's going into the age of information, what you're trying to do with yourself? Gain information. And what is Aquarius? Fixed air, being fixated on, being fixated on his own way of thinking and communicating. So right now, everybody is thinking about themselves a fixed way fixed come out as stubbornness but in in a, in a broad perspective it's this thinking about self so fixed air is thinking about self so it's thinking about self which is looking in the mirror trying to get information about self thinking about self and thinking of ways to communicate it tell me I'm motherfucking lying so so you gonna tell me I'm wrong, but if I sit down, but if I sit here and break down the characteristics of how man, how man and woman gonna be when this species, mankind itself, go into the age of um, Capricorn, if I I can sit down here and break that break that down right here, and it's gonna make perfectly complete sense. But you'll sit here and tell me what I'm saying right now is bullshit. Flight boss, bitch, you know for sure. And I wanna talk about reptilians real quick. Goddamn.